Hi guys, welcome to another video and in this video we're going to make a beautiful coffee table. Uh, this is the end result. So let's get in the video and let's start building. So I already planed down, milled down all my stock. So it's ready to get some dominoes in there and then I'm going to glue everything together. So we're going to do that now. This is an off cut that I used to make sure that I get my triangle shape out of my boards when everything is glued up. So this is the maximum width of my coffee table. I added a screw in the middle and then I can turn it around and have a quick look if all my boards are long enough and if I can get my shape out of my table. So I unclamped all my boards and now it's time to connect my three parts to each other. Because I know the circle will be on the outside here, I'm gonna uh, add two dominoes here and I'm probably gonna add two dominoes here as well. Why am I adding two here? Well, it's quite big to clamp it up all together and um, to make sure that I don't lose any flatness so it's nice and flush to each other in the middle I am doing more dominoes now First of all, one. One. so everything is clamped together and it's quite flat I have a little high spot over there which I probably have to take out with my hand planer. And um, I'm happy with this. So let's let this sit overnight and then let's go back tomorrow in, in the shop and let's cut our shape with my Shaper Origin. So see you guys tomorrow. Lovely espresso first. Oh, nothing better than a coffee in the morning. All right, I'm gonna drink that. I'm gonna unclamp it, and then I'm gonna go ahead with adding tape for the shaper on top and go ahead with the process. So I already went over a couple of strokes on the top to flatten it out. It's quite flat, so I need to do a couple of more here. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up, gonna add tape, and then the hard part will come. So I will do my best to show you what I will do. I'm gonna import my files somewhere here. So this is the table. So I flipped the anchor point to the center because now I can zoom in, see if I cover everything in my uh, table so I can see on my screen that I have the full drawing on my table. All right, so I'm gonna drop it out, drop it. So I'm not gonna film the whole thing. I'm just gonna go speed things forward and hopefully this thing is cut in the next couple of minutes. So I cut it out 10 millimeters deep, the full shape. Now I will do the true mortises, which will come in the angle. So this is, it's a triangular. So there's a point, there's a point, and there's a point. I lifted the full top on some off cutted oak below so I can cut through and I don't cut in my bench. Okay, so this here is an alignment bar, so you can make it nice, flush and level with the top. So you have to push it against this one. Then I'm gonna bring the clamps in, clamp it really tight. I'm gonna remove this, 
bring this bar here as a support bar for my shaper and now I'm gonna set out my mortison on this one. So let's do a dry fit and see how it comes out. Perfect. I have the big Festool 2200, which is a heavy machine. I have a spiral bit in there, a bearing spiral bit, top bearing, so I can keep this thing really nice and sturdy on my top. And then um, I'm gonna flush trim it with this line that I did with my shaper. So I will gonna cut here, here, and let me mark it off. This one off, let's mark that one off. And I'm gonna drill a hole here and here, six millimeters. So I will do round over on all three legs, quite small one, so it breaks the edge quite nice, but it doesn't look really round. So I'm gonna do those now. So here are the wedges that matches the thickness of my tenon, but I will make a point on one side so it's easier when you cut when you're um, putting them in. So I will do on one side a point with my pants. mark off where it needs to come I always keep my screws well organized in these sustainers so let's see we have a Now it's time to add finish, and for the finish I'm gonna use Osmo Black. I will do the bottom first, and then I will do the top, and I'm gonna bring it on just like this, and I'm gonna do two layers, because Osmo recommends two layers of coating when you are doing black, and then finish it off with a top layer, which, call, which is called top, uh, top oil. So um, I'm gonna add on one layer now. I will fast forward this whole process because this thing is this will going to take a while this was my video about this coffee table build i hope you enjoyed this video if so don't forget to like and subscribe button i really enjoyed the process of using the shaper it's a pretty new tool for me and i'm still exploring all the possibilities but i think it's going to help me really really well in the future with my projects so here are the end result pictures and hopefully i see you in the next video